So as of right now, I would say about 90% of this herd has been given a shot of antibiotics. They've been ran through the chute. I gave them a, if you take a real close look at them, you'll see that they got ear tags in them. I ran them through the chute. I got an ear tag in them. Uh, I forgot to put an ear tag in one animal, so. But they've uh, all been ran through the chute just about. They've all just about been given a shot of antibiotics. I am still, uh, well, okay. So, you know, as of right now, I've probably lost, oh, I think, I'm going to be honest, I think it's uh, something like 17 animals. Um, uh, 17, 18 animals. I, th I actually think it's 18 animals. Uh, my herd size total is, uh, was 62, and now it's, uh, Oh, it was 60 and now it's uh, 42. So I've lost a lot of animals. But, uh, yep, uh, it is unfortunate, you know, that uh, I learn a lot when things like this happen. So me, you know, when things are going real well, it is real, uh, it is just, uh, you don't really get to learn a lot when things are going real well because when things are, well, I mean, you do learn a lot when things are going well. Okay, let, let me rephrase. Uh, I do learn a lot. Well, if I was just going to be straight factual, I would only say that, uh, you know, the only reason I'm so, uh, well, I learn a lot whether things go good or whether things go bad. I learn a lot and the thing about this whole thing is that you know i've been i've said this for a long time but you know the, the whole thing about the uh, being a business owner it's like being on a ship and and uh, and being in charge of a ship if the ship starts to go down i'm on it for you know until 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 the the ship either gets through it or the ship goes down i am on it i mean it's not like i, I you know i uh, i gave up the choice to give up when I first started, right? When I when I got started with all this, and here's the here's the thing about my life, right? Is that me, you know, uh, you know, uh, farming is legitimately it's the only thing I know. I mean, like it's not like I'm just gonna say I'm gonna quit farming, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and uh, you know do something else. Like I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go be an astronaut, right? Like I'm not gonna go and be a mathematician. I'm not going to go uh, do whatever else. I mean, I legitimately, you know, farming is the only thing that I've ever worked on my entire life. I mean, you know, uh, th this is legitimately, farming is all I know. So whether things go good or whether things go bad, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm on it. Like, like I, you know, like I'm in it forever. Like my whole life. I, I mean, it just is what it is. And, you know, uh, earlier today I was watching something. Uh, and uh, it just popped up on my feed on my YouTube shorts feed and it was like this guy who was uh, who was uh, talking about an orange and he said uh, when you squeeze an orange the only thing you can possibly get out of that orange is orange juice and he said that people are like that they you don't really know what's gonna come out of them until you until they get squeezed right some people they'll get squeezed and when they get squeezed they'll start blaming other people you know I, I was guilty of that too you know i am guilty of i'm not okay so i'm not going to say i'm really blaming this other man i'm just going to be a uh, be as factual as i can you know he did sell me cell barn cattle i'm not seeing any signs of vaccinations in these animals i was not seeing any signs that these animals know what a feed bucket is they hardly even know what a hay bale is you know, I, you know, I'm not blaming him for that. I'm just being as factual as I can. When I walk out here with a feed sack, these animals, they don't even know what it is. I can walk around with the feed sack, shaking the feed sack, and these animals, they will go running for their lives. They don't even know what the feed sack is. And one of the things that he told me was if I, if I just have a feed sack in my hands, these animals will come running to me. That was one thing that he told me, and it was a blatant lie. These animals, they don't know what feed is. You know, I'm not blaming him for that. I'm just going to say factually he is a liar. And he lied to me. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, but, uh, yep, I mean, but I was watching this thing and it was saying, you know, well, you don't really know what, what's going to come out of a person until they get squeezed. Because an orange, when you squeeze an orange, it's not like you can get apple juice, right? 
you know an, an orange when it gets squeezed the only thing that could possibly come out of it is an orange is is orange juice and so P, he said you know in these things you know people when when people get squeezed you get to see what comes out of them because that is what is actually in them and i and i, and I was like you know what that that makes a lot of sense to me because you know I'm not, you know, I like I, I honestly feel like a prick saying this and you know, it's not like I'm getting some kind of uh you know, I'm not like getting a, I'm not saying this to uh to benefit me. I'm just saying this because this is what I believe. But I think that, you know, uh things th there is never a, such a thing as as an easy road, right? It's not it's not possible. And so, you know, uh, these this whole thing, like, oh, you know, uh, like this, you know, like when I was talking about making one hundred sixty thousand dollars, it seemed like a fairy. It, now, now when I look back at it, I'm like, that was, you know. But okay, here's the thing: is that, you know, uh, you know, chances are in my future I will do better. You know, whether I like it or, or you know, it's not a, it's not, a, it's not a, it's not a matter of do I want to do. This is legitimately the only thing I know how to do. Farming is legitimately the only thing I know how to do. You know, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna go and suddenly go and uh, start laying bricks, right? Like I'm not gonna go and suddenly, uh, you know, uh, go and start building skyscrapers or start building you know start building buildings or i'm not going to go and suddenly be a math teacher or a biology teacher or i'm not going to go and be a biologist or, or anything else I, I legitimately you know this is i you know legitimately i i stick to this until until uh, I, I either do this or i die an old man trying those are my only two options you know either i stay on either the ship sails or it sinks and, and either way i'm on it and so it's i mean you know, I'm not saying this to sound like a like a sad story, but it is factual. I mean, I've spent some. You know, I, I'm 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 over. I'm 32 years old. It's too old. I'm too old to learn new tricks. I'm not gonna suddenly go and be an athlete, right? I'm not gonna go and uh, be a basketball player. I'm not gonna go and do anything. I, you know, I'm, I'm too old to learn new tricks. And even if I were to learn new tricks, it's like you know, I would have to. You know, when I look at what it took me to get to this level of farming, you know. Uh, I know that right now it's kind of like oh well you know uh, oh the, you know, whatever I don't really feel like talking about business right now you know here in a couple of days of uh, uh, when I snap out of it I've I've been taking a look at my business plan because the thing about it is that okay I'm a you know being a farmer is that I'm a businessman is that I have to be a businessman under any circumstance and as of right now I owe the bank about fifteen thousand dollars, so I owe the bank fifteen thousand dollars, and anything that I keep over fifteen thousand. And I say I really feel like a prick saying this. And, you know, things have gone horribly bad for me, and you know, not not I'm not gonna say things have gone horribly bad for me. And I really feel I, I don't feel good saying stuff like this. But you know, uh, you know, it's like I was going for a hundred sixty thousand, and now it's like things went horribly wrong, and maybe, maybe I, I make, I make, I make eighty, eighty-five thousand this year. And so you know, uh, I, I, and I, and I sound, and I don't, I don't really like saying that right now because I understand that you know. Uh, okay, so here's one thing: if I'm just gonna talk straight business, right? Because business is business. Okay, let's say I'm a let's say I'm a person and I say, "Oh man, you know, I want to go put $10,000 into a college degree. I want to go put $10,000 into a college degree or I want to go and put $10,000 into buying this thing that I'm going to uh sell on Amazon, right? I'm going to spend $10,000 on it and I'm going to start myself a business. Well, if that business goes under or if that college degree turns out to be a waste of time and effort, that ten thousand dollars that I spent on that college degree, or that ten thousand dollars that I spent on that Amazon product or that online product, it's just you know it's just gone. It's just like uh, the the business blew up in my face, right? And but if I you know if I if I if I look to start a cattle business, and I lose fifteen thousand dollars, what's happening is that I lost twenty twenty five animals. That that's what you know. That's the thing about the cattle business that you know about farming. I think a lot of farmers get a lot of heat and a lot of flack for uh, they, they get a lot of hate from people and it's like these people they don't even understand what it means to be a farmer they haven't farmed a day in their life they don't know what it's like to be you know uh, like me as a small scale farmer i guarantee i 100 percent guarantee that feedlots big feedlots see stuff like this all the time 
I mean, you can go on the internet right now and look up case studies of, of, of mass cattle fatalities, and they will pop up thousands of results in, 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 in less than a tenth of a second. You know, that, that's, that's what Google is. You know, you can go on Google and you can look up case studies on mass, cattle, on mass cattle fatalities, and they are all over the place. I mean, these feedlots, you know, the industry normal, maybe 5%. And, and realistically, if things were to go the way that I, you know, uh, it, you know it, like if I had known that these, sell, these were sell barn cattle and I, and, I, and I had been more diligent in, in, in upkeeping with the weather and, you know, and, and, and uh, treating these animals the way they needed to be treated, my, my death loss would have been somewhere around the industry standard. And this is not normal, okay? Like, this is not normal. Me, uh, you, know, uh, you know, having animals die like this, this is not the average. But stuff like this, it happens all the time. I guarantee it. You know, if you go on the internet right now and look up, ca uh, look up case studies, but this is also one of the reasons why a lot of people do not want to be farmers because when they, they go out and they try and be a farmer and they see all this happening and then it's like, oh man, uh, you know, uh, now it's time to, 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 to give this up. You know, they don't ever want to see it again, you know, uh, but this stuff, you know, uh, mass cattle fatalities happen all the time, especially on the industrial scale, on these large feedlots and stuff like that. Me, I'm a small time operator. You know, uh, these large, large, large feed, feed lots and stuff, this stuff happens all the time. And, and, and I know that that is horrible for me to say, and but it's the reality. You can go on, you, anybody watching this right now can go on Google right now and look up case studies for mass cattle fatalities, and they will be all over the place. Thousands of them will pop up in less than a tenth of a second. And this stuff, it happens all the time. You know, and, and I'm, you know, um, I mean, you know, uh, and I know that that's a horrible thing. That's a horrible thing to imagine, right? It's like, especially for people who have never seen what farming is, it's a horrible thing to 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 wake up to, right? Oh my God, you know, I can't, I can't believe, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, these, uh, you know, that that, you know, that the, there are case thousands of case studies where, you know, uh, like a, a a a a whole shipping boat of cattle was sent from Brazil to America and half of the shipping boat of animals died, right? I mean, you can look up these case studies on the internet yourself. I mean, they are all over the place. It's like, oh man, we uh, we sent half a half a shipping uh, half a, a boat, half a half a freight cargo boat. You know, like they they'll put these cattle on these like on these boats, like these large industrial scale cattle uh, like uh, on these large industrial boats. Like put tens of thousands of heads on, like you know, like thousands and thousands and thousands of head on these boats, and they'll send the boats from like uh, Brazil to America, right? And they'll lose half of their animals. And I, I mean, stuff like this, it happens all the time, and it is very unfortunate. But this is the reality of being a farmer. I mean, you know, me when I see stuff like this, it is devastating, and it's like you know if. And you know, you know, I think when when I look back at it, I I say, you know, if I had known this, I would have done things differently, right? I don't I don't sit here, you know, having animals die on my property and go, oh, this is, this is, you know, what I this is what I was planning. It's not. And so you know, uh, I mean, it's 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 horrible, right? It's horrible. But this is the reality of farming. This is also why a lot of people do not want to be farmers. This is, you know, and stuff like this happens all the time on the industrial scale. And, you know, a lot of people, when they see this for the first time, they're, I mean, they're shaking up real bad. And, but, you know, me, when I, when I look at stuff like this, you know, uh, you know, I understand that this is the reality of the work that I have signed up myself up for. And that, you know, uh, you know, uh, and it's too old. I'm, I'm too old to learn new tricks. Like, I'm not going to go and become some uh, some uh, phenomenal, you know, uh, some phenomenal basketball player. I'm not going to go out, you know, and become some phenomenal, like an astronaut or some like scuba diver. I'm not going to be any of that stuff, right? Like, I, I legitimately, you know, it's I, I, I have been stuck to this. I've stuck myself to this for so long, for too long. To go and uh, to go and teach myself, uh, you know, new things, right? And so, I am going to say it was kind of a a, a la la land kind of a, a situation for me. I went skipping off into la la land this uh, this time around because my whole thing was this, you know, uh, like I didn't think that it was going to be freezing until January of next year. I did not think that I was going to get more than about one inch of rain for the rest of the month. 
you know i did not expect these things but i could have expected these things if i just looked at the weather channel if i had just looked at the weather channel you know and i saw four days of rain i it would have been better it would have been best for me to just not buy these animals to not bring them in at that point you know uh, if i if i saw that it was going to dip below freezing i should not have shipped my animals in you know uh, two days before the weather event started and also when these animals were at the other man's ranch you know i was talking to them and they were coughing real bad a lot of these animals were coughing real bad and they were snotting up real bad and when i saw that i sh it, it doesn't matter what that man says right that you know that man was telling me oh they're only coughing because they uh they've been eating dry feed and you know but when i saw when I saw that these animals were standing at this man's at this man's lot, you know, snotting up real bad and coughing like that, it doesn't matter what he says. I should have I should have turned around and ran away. You know, I should have I should have just left and never talked to this man again. You know, the the fact that he he hasn't shown me a single picture of one of his mama cows, that's a major red flag. I should have turned around and walked away at that moment, right? And so there were a lot of things that happened, but you know, in the future you know I'm, I'm 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 a better man for it and you know uh, and you know when, when i look at things that, that happen like this i mean you know i remember one time i was reading a uh i, I don't remember the exact but i mean you, you can read i remember there was a case study done in australia i think they had sent a a boat of cattle from like america to australia or from australia to, to america and there was some, uh, some, uh, her, I don't exactly remember, but I mean, th there were a lot of papers, right? And there are a lot of case studies on like tens of thousands of animals that are shipped, you know, from like a one country to another on these massive boats. And I mean, you can go on the internet and look them up yourself. I mean, sometimes I remember reading case studies on like a, they like a, 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 a few, uh, I don't remember exactly what was happening, but I think they were sent from Montana to Texas and something like 60% uh, of the cattle died. And, but there are case studies, there are case studies all over the place. I'm not the only person that, that, that this has happened to. And it happens on the industrial scale at all, uh, all the time. I mean, this is one of the unfortunate realities of farming is as, is that me, you know, like me, when I, you know, as, as a business owner, as a farmer, if I make a fifteen thousand dollar mistake, what I, what, you know, the reality of me making a fifteen thousand dollar mistake is that I, I lose, I lose twenty, twenty five cattle. You know, if I was an Amazon online store seller, or if I was a, uh, if I was somebody who was, um, who was, let, let's say I was whatever, you know, I was, I was a business owner that owned a retail shop, right? If I, if I purchased fifteen thousand dollars worth of merchandise and my store did not do well well i mean i lost fifteen thousand dollars worth of merchandise right but me as a farmer if i lose fifteen thousand dollars on my cattle you know that that's like that's like you know i i've legitimately just like watched 25 animals die that's that's the difference about being a business owner that is a farmer and being a business owner on just about any other business is that you know the it's different it is it is it is, it is in ways it is, it is the same thing but it, in a lot of ways it, it is it, it is also different and so you know uh, i know that that this is horrible and you know uh, but and and this, this is horrific right and i don't i don't really you know i feel like i feel like a prick when i talk about the money that i'm gonna make and i and i just don't want to talk about that right now um uh, you know uh, I, as of right now, I owe the bank about fifteen thousand dollars, and uh, you know I'll probably end up having about uh, I don't I don't know maybe thirty five cattle that that'll go to market, and so uh, but yeah but that's it for me today YouTube I'm I'm just gonna call it a day y'all have a good one.